Hello and good morning. Welcome to Sage Distribution and Manufacturing Operations Tips and Tricks. I am Tara Schinkel and I will be your tour guide for today. Uh, so in today's Tips and Tricks, we're going to just talk about the help features that come with distribution and manufacturing operations and also talk about all the new releases that come out. Uh, so first and foremost, when you're in the distribution and manufacturing operations, uh, first thing you'll see is over on the right, there is the question mark icon. And so this is how I can bring up help. And first thing you'll see is I've got the immediate search for online help, the ability to read release notes, view product highlights, and take tour features. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do a quick search on help. And you'll see in the help center, I have the ability to type in what I'm looking for. So I might do something as generic as item, could do something or just wanna maybe read up on an inventory item. And so you'll see the item windows come up and then over to the right, it'll actually show me similar topics of that area. And everything is hyperlinked, so I can just click and it'll take me to that next section. So you'll find with the online help, it's extremely powerful and intuitive and is constantly updated as new features are released. So I wanna close this window. And so with STMO, there are new releases every single month. Uh, this actually is what makes the Sage distribution and manufacturing operations uh, really a standout from any other software that's out in the marketplace today. Uh, with the new updates, you get new features. Um, and Sage always does the release notes. So you'll see for 2024, for May, these are all of the new features. So the ability to attach files, some improvements in the software. Um, so I'm able to actually sit here and read about this particular release. I can also go back in time. So let's say I missed what was new with April. I can come in and look and see what new features have been added to the software since April. And so this is great because as SDMO continues to evolve and add new features, it's super easy to read up on what those new features are. So I'm gonna close this. Well, let's say I wanna do more than just read up on it. So now you can also view the product highlights. And so here, if I pick my release, so I'll stick with 2024, you'll see I get this lovely wizard that pops up. So I'll say discover new features. And now the, the wizard will actually walk me through what the different features are. So I can see from the report page, it's telling me how I can create and add fields. If I hit the next window down here at the bottom, I can actually go to the next feature or I can click on the little bubble as well. And so this allows me to, to actually see the features in action. So this is helpful if you're a more visual person, like to see how a feature is gonna work. You will see here, this is showing me the attachments feature. Um, and again, this is for each new release that comes out with STMO, which is every month. And then last but not least, I can actually take a, a product features tour. And so these are different features inside of STMO where I can actually see how the feature works. So maybe I'm interested in learning about recording history. And so now this actually walks you through how to record history on the various pages in STMO. So as you can see in looking at this, the, the online help is extremely powerful. The fact that SDMO does releases every single month is again, something that really sets the software apart from other packages. It's also a great way as you introduce new users um, to the SDMO software, they can easily get up to speed on the various functions without having to spend um, gobs of time with training. So thank you so much for attending today and for listening on my tips and tricks for stage distribution and manufacturing. Have a great day.